Hey guys, this is Michael Tarallo with Click. In this video, I will introduce you to the ClickSense pivot table object and give you a brief example of how it can be used. The pivot table offers rapid interchangeability of metrics and dimensions, creating different responsive views of the same data set. Depending on what it is you want to focus on, you simply pivot dimensions and measures to summarize and group data of interest and hide data that is either too detailed or irrelevant during the analysis. Capabilities such as on-the-fly filtering and data value searching simplifies your analysis by allowing you to focus on what's important. When used in combination with other ClickSense visualizations, uncovering outliers and spotting areas of interest becomes even easier. So let's take a look and see how we can use this new object. So what I have here is a simple ClickSense app with data already loaded into it, representing fruit and vegetable sales. Let me go into analyze mode so you can take a look at it. I have some filters, a KPI object, as well as a straight table. So straight tables basically can be considered difficult to analyze lots of data in, even with this conditional styling or color gradient depicting the least and the most type of sales, it still could be hard to answer additional questions from the straight table. If I wanted to ask the question, which is my top performing location? Or which is my top seller when it comes to color or items, for example? I'd have to add up all of these values and segregate them and group them, etc., just to get that answer. Now, obviously, there's other visualizations that could help you with that, but for a pivot table, we can look at the data in a variety of different angles, condensed views, and different aggregation levels. Let's take a look at how we create one. So I'm going to go into my sheet objects. I'm going to create a new sheet, and we're going to call it pivot table. That way, we have a little bit more field of view when I demonstrate this. I'll go into edit mode, and we're going to go to our chart objects and bring over the pivot table. Okay, we'll add some dimensions, category, as well as a metric or measure, select sales. And pretty much we're going to use the same dimensions that we used in the straight table. Let's add some more dimensions, such as color, and item, and location. And you'll notice as I add these dimensions, they populate in this property panel on the right hand side and they go underneath the row section. Now if I wanted to make these columns, I would do so by dragging the appropriate item into the column section. Now keep in mind, this is only during edit mode. If you're going to do this during analyze mode, you can do that by grabbing the appropriate header and putting it into the appropriate section, such as here is the column section. Okay, and we'll get back into this a little bit later. Okay, let's add um, another metric. Let's grab our quantity as well. And I'm going to add that as an aggregation of sum. And let's change our labels, make that quantity, and then we'll do the same for sales, and change the number formatting to money. And you can start to see the pivot table taking shape. Uh, let's move quantity in front of sales. And then let's adjust our starting display or layout of the pivot table. So I have my locations first, and then my categories, and then my items, and then finally my color. And this could be my starting point for my analysis. One other thing I'd like to point out is if I go to the appearance property, you have a section called presentation, and you can change the pivot table to show fully expanded as well as the ability to indent the rows or not indent the rows. And I kind of like these options because it enables you to kind of create a layout or a report uh, or even like a cross tab, if you will, if you're looking at this information across time. And you can take a snapshot of this particular report and utilize it within data storytelling. So you can kind of lay out those particular objects if you need to present your findings. Okay, well, let's go back to the default view and we can begin analyzing our data. Okay, so what we can do now is go into analyze mode and we can see that the pivot table is ready to be used. So earlier in the beginning of the video, I mentioned how would we discover which particular location was our top seller. And by looking at the previous view, which was a straight table, it might be rather difficult to perceive that or analyze the data effectively. 
but by going into the pivot table view, as you can see here, we can clearly see that the southern region is our top sales performer, as well as has the top number of quantity uh, of items sold. Now, if I wanted to just focus in on the southern region, we can choose any one of these header items, in this case, location, and then just select south. And this allows us to reduce the view to that particular answer set, but at the same time, still maintaining other perspective with the power of gray or shades of gray. So in this case, now we'd like to expand this in the form of, let's say, a natural hierarchy that we created with the structure here by going from the location to the category. And you can see we have fruit, grains, and vegetables and the corresponding values. Now note that the bold text or the bold numeric values, those are, again, the aggregated values or the particular sums of the subsequent items. So for example, you see $489 under fruit if we expand fruit, then we see apples, tangelos, and watermelon that add up to $489. And then let's expand one more level, which is color, and you can see green watermelon at 107. And therefore, the uh, non-bold is the uh, item level or detail level. And that uh, is the same for, you know, depending on how many values are available for the last level. In this case, color, green, red, yellow, you can see that 200, 130, add up to 330 for apples. Okay, so that's the difference within the, uh, the bold and the non-bold styling of the values. Okay, if we wanted to take this information and then perform a pivot. In other words, well, I would like to look at the location information across the top. I can do that by grabbing location and putting it into the columns section. And now you can see we're looking at quantity and sales for south. Well, let's move measures in front of location. And now you can see we have south quantity and sales. And then what we can do is let's clear our location value. And now we can see and analyze this information across the location dimension. And clearly we can see here that West has not sold any grains or any vegetables at all, and are as well as our least performing uh, region. So hopefully with this brief video, you have a good idea on how to use the pivot table object. It's not difficult to understand or use, but does provide some useful and flexible capabilities that can help you analyze your data. Don't forget to join the discussion with me and others on the Click community, where we can help you quickly get started with ClickSense. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video.